Dobermans are amazing dogs to own and train, but if you aren't used to the specific ways in which Dobermans are, well, very different from other breeds, and you just sort of train them the same way you train any other dog, then you might just feel pretty lost owning one of these magnificent dogs. So today we're cutting out all the guesswork for you and giving you the five best training tips that are uniquely targeted for the Doberman breed specifically. And if you aren't used to the Doberman breed specifically, you'll really find that these tips are like little keys, keys that unlock even the most stubborn of Dobermans and make your life just so much easier. Let's jump straight into the first training tip that'll make your life just so much easier while training this unique dog, and that is to turn one success into many. Let me explain. See, this is something that's a real strength of the Dobermans and part of the reason that they're so trainable. Essentially, when training your Doberman in a new command or behavior, you just need a few, only a few successful executions of that new thing that you're training them, and your Doberman will turn it into many successes all on their own. Simply, you just pick a cue for whatever command or behavior you're teaching your Doberman. Now, this could be a verbal cue, such as the word sit, or a physical cue, such as pointing at the ground with your finger, or maybe even an environmental cue, like walking into your office, for example. Then, once you give that cue to your Doberman, you simply need to do whatever it takes to get your dog to perform that action that you want out of them. Yes, even if you kind of have to coax your Doberman along into doing it in sort of a haphazard manner. Now, it's bound to look ugly the first time or two you do this, but that's fine with these dogs. The important thing is that you elicited the response from your dog after giving them the cue. This is what these dogs respond to, so just repeat this process a few times. In fact, one study showed that with Dobermans specifically, you just need to do this in as little as five repetitions, and they should start repeating it, or at least strongly attempting to repeat this, on their own after your chosen cue is given. And very soon, your dog will convert those first few kind of ugly looking successes of executing that commander behavior into many successes because it'll quickly become a habit for your Doberman with this process. This works just so well with these dogs. And the next one is to end it with focus. Any training session you do with your Doberman, it needs to end in a positive way with maintaining your dog's focus. You should be doing between one and three or so training sessions per day with your Doberman, whether it's teaching just a new command or just re reinforcing old ones. Now, for younger Dobermans, you generally want shorter training sessions more frequently throughout the day. The reason why you want shorter sessions for puppies is that, well, they have just a very short attention span when they're young. And it's so important with Dobies specifically that your training sessions end with their focus still being maintained. Focus is like a muscle and you can train that muscle in these dogs very well. And they're just so much more manageable as an adult with a well-trained focus muscle. So always end your sessions while your Doberman is still highly focused on you. If you do, that's a win in your column and a successful session. If you're finding that you're starting to lose your Doberman's focus before the end of your sessions, you can try training in a less distracting environment or having training sessions that are shorter or just using more appealing treats or other motivation while training. Remember to always end it with focus. Now the next important training tip for a Doberman is when the leash goes taut, you stop. Now this is a fairly simple concept, but actually it's a critical training tip when you are leash training your Doberman. You should always walk your Doberman only when the leash is loose. If you are walking and the leash gets taut or goes tight at any time, you need to stop immediately and be an instant anchor for your dog, not moving an inch. Then you should call your Doberman back into the heel position and when you're reset, begin the walk again. Dobermans want to explore and they're dominant dogs, so they'll just naturally want to pull on that leash, but you need to communicate to them with 100% consistency that when they pull, the walk is going to stop immediately. So if your Doberman wants to walk down the road and see what's around the next band, they'll only be able to do so if they maintain a loose leash. In the short term, when you're first doing this with your dog, it might get really frustrating for you kind of just having to stop all the time. But in the long run, this is going to make walking your dog so much more of a joy, trust me. So when the leash goes taut, remember, 
you should always stop. The next critical tip to know while training a Doberman, repetition is your friend. A lot of the training with a Doberman is going to involve repetition. In fact, it's repetition with Dobermans that appeals to one of their best traits that makes them just so trainable. Now this footage that you're seeing on your screen right now, this is of me teaching my Doberman the behavior of automatically stopping at the doorway and waiting for a release command before coming into my house. This was actually when he was still a puppy, definitely a puppy here. You can see how many times I needed to reset him and these were just the few that I filmed that day. He actually needed a lot more repetition than this. Uh, and this is definitely not uncommon when teaching something new to one of these dogs. And he eventually got it and now he just kind of stops automatically at the entrance to my house and will wait as long as it takes for a release command. So if you find yourself doing a lot of repetitions, don't get discouraged. You're simply building that habit in your Doberman. And habit is really a powerful component of the Doberman's trainability. It actually is one of the truly great things about this breed and it helps them to be just so trainable. And you're simply appealing to that trait of this breed. So remember, it doesn't mean you're doing something wrong and don't let it get you discouraged. A lot of new Doberman owners do here, but just don't. Repetition is absolutely your friend with a Doby. And that brings us to the next training tip for a Doberman. And that's that consistency and routine will get you far with this breed. Now we've all heard the consistency thing with dog training and we all know that's important, but with Dobermans, they're kind of unique in that they seem to derive a real sense of security from consistency and having a predictable routine. This is different from many other breeds out there. So this means that you can actually make your Doberman feel more comfortable and lower their anxiety simply by doing your best to structure their day as consistently as possible from one day to the next. This means making sure that meals are fed at the same time every day, that you're going for walks at the same time. Even going on similar routes on the walk is helpful, especially when you're still leash training. Uh, that you're leaving the house and returning at the same times, that dedicated training times are consistent, that you have bedtime routines that are consistent, and so on. Now, we all have real lives, right? And it's impossible to be completely consistent, but the more things that can stay the same from day to day, the less anxiety uh, your doorman will experience and the more manageable they'll be. By the way, this also means being consistent with your training style and the boundaries you set in the home as well. These are dominant dogs and they'll push your boundaries without hesitation and watch for you to kind of waver. So essentially keep things consistent and routine in all forms as much as possible, especially with this breed. Owning a Doberman is not like owning any other breed of dog. They have unique behaviors, habits, and training styles that they respond to. And if you're curious, that's why so many first time Doberman owners struggle to raise one of these dogs because they're just so different. So just remember these five things while you're training your Doberman. Turn a few successes into many. Always end it with focus. When the leash goes taut, you stop. Repetition is your friend and consistency and routine will get you far and you'll be light years ahead of most new Doberman owners. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below guys. And before you go, drop a comment down below. I love it if you do that. We have a lot of really experienced Doberman owners who regularly watch this channel. So please help the new owners out. What's your best tip for training a Doberman? Leave it in the comments, I'd love to hear it. Oh, and by the way, if you have a Doberman puppy, however, and you want some very specific and very actionable tricks and hacks you can start doing with your puppy today that'll quickly get your puppy started off right, then make sure you take a look at this video popping up right here on your screen. It's kind of like the one you just saw, but it's specifically for Doberman puppies, and I promise it'll save you a ton of time and effort if you're working with a new puppy Doberman. So go ahead and check it out. I'll see you over there.